And here at home, we're nearing the end of the saga between the pop music icon Taylor Swift and that former DJ here in town, David Mueller. Not over yet, though. Today, closing arguments are expected. We've had a lot of eyeballs here in yeah, Denver over the past week or so. Denver 7's Amanda Del Castillo has been following this trial since day one. She's been in the courtroom for us, and there were some big changes on Friday, Amanda. Yeah, claims that Mueller made against the pop star were thrown out on Friday. That was the biggest development. You'll remember that Mueller alleged that the singer's allegations of him groping her were false and said that it was her allegations that actually got him fired from his job at KYGO. Now you'll remember her counterclaim of assault and battery. That's still in play that in that will go to the jury today. Mural was fired from KYGO back in 2013. This was right after taking a picture with a pop star and his then girlfriend. It's the snapshot at the center of this court battle. On Friday, the judge decided Taylor took no part in Mueller's firing from KYGO, rather that her mother and manager acted separately from Taylor when they contacted the radio station. Mueller's team failed to recognize the difference. Baldridge said to the court, please, please get Taylor Swift out of this. And that's what Judge Martinez did. This was a big victory for Taylor Swift. And inside the courtroom, she erupted with joy. She looked over at her father and brother, gave them a big hug. And that was the scene Friday. In the next half hour of news, we're going to look forward. What's expected today? We know court resumes back at 930, but we've been talking a lot about those post-its that have been spelling out some of our lyrics across the street from the courtroom. We know that one of them one day said free Tay and her Swifties, her fans say that that's exactly what, the, what those developments on Friday did. It did free Taylor, but we're back here in the next 30 minutes, really following up on what's expected today here at court. I'm at the federal courthouse. Amanda Del Castillo, Denver for seven.